news about endangered species is not good. One in four mammals, one in eight birds, one third of all amphibians, and 70% of the world's known plants are in danger of extinction. A species is in danger when the number of that species drops by more than 50% over 10 years, or if there aren't enough adults to really increase the population, or if there isn't enough habitat to keep the population alive. Scientists define the level of threat to the survival of a species in four ways. Vulnerable. A species is defined or classified as vulnerable when it faces the loss of its habitat or from threats like poaching. Endangered. A species is classified as endangered when the population of that animal or plant is dangerously low or when its habitat is disappearing because of pollution or human activity. Critically endangered. A species is critically endangered when few of that plant or animal exist in the wild, when there are so few left that they may not be able to find a mate or produce young. And finally, there is extinction. A species is extinct when there are no more left, either in the wild or in captivity. In the last 500 years, over 800 species have gone extinct. But now we're seeing the extinction rate increasing 1,000 to 10,000 times past rates. Dozens of plants and animals are going extinct every day. But places like Zoo Boise and its staff are doing their part to save animals. Well, we think it's really important to not just protect the animals that we have here in the zoo and take really good care of them, but to protect their counterparts out in the wild. Zoo Boise is home to more than 100 different animals. 24 are classified as vulnerable, endangered, or critically endangered. These are our Vizayan warty pigs. Um, they are a native pig species to the Philippines, and they are also critically endangered. At one point, they were native to six islands of the Philippines and have already gone extinct on four of them. This is one of our Grevy's zebra. They are a subspecies of zebra native to Ethiopia and Kenya and Somalia, and they are also endangered, and that is mostly due to habitat loss. Grevy zebras, you'll see they have a different stripe pattern than other zebras. Their belly is all white. Um, plain zebras and other subspecies will have slightly different patterns. And zebra stripes are like our fingerprints. They're different for every individual animal. And we have Grevy zebra here at the zoo because um, they are the closest living relative to the Idaho State fossil, the Hagerman horse. So this is Sarita. She is a cotton top tamarin and she is a critically endangered primate um, from South America, predominantly Colombia, um, and they are a favorite here at the zoo. Um, and they're mostly threatened um, for habitat loss um, and people catching them for the pet trade and also for medical research. So these are black-handed spider monkeys. This is Elvis and Sarah, and they are from found in Central and South America. And they're really cool species because they have a prehensile tail, which means that they can use their tail kind of as another arm or leg, and they can use it to grab onto things when they swing through the trees and brachiate. Um, and these guys are uh, endangered as well, mostly due to deforestation and habitat loss. These are our red pandas, and the two you're looking at right now are our red panda cubs that were born here at the zoo this summer. Um, so we have mom and dad and these two boys, and they are a highly endangered species found in um, Asia, or in China, Nepal, India, high altitudes. They're not related to pandas, um, but they eat bamboo. So that the panda means bamboo eater. Um, and they are mostly threatened due to habitat loss, um, the pet trade, uh, and other human encroachment. This is Tashi, he's our male snow leopard here at the zoo, and we also have a female Kabita. And snow leopards are a really cool cat. They're found in high altitude mountain ranges in Asia. And it's really hard for scientists to know how many there are left in the wild because they're really hard to find. So they are critically endangered. There's probably less than 5,000 of them left. And the two we have here are paired up as part of our species survival plan to hopefully um, mate here at the zoo and produce some cubs and help um, keep their species alive. You can help save these and other endangered animals by visiting Zoo Boise. Part of your entrance fee goes to a conservation program saving animals in the wild. To learn more about endangered species, check out the Science Trek website. You'll find that and lots of other science topics at idahoptv.org slash science trek. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Science Trek. They have these, this fun hair and their head gets really long and looks like a mohawk and gets all wild and crazy. Come take a look, we're just filming.
presentation of Science Track on Idaho Public Television is made possible through the generous support of the Laura Moore Cunningham Foundation, committed to fulfilling the Moore and Bettis family legacy of building the great state of Idaho. By the Idaho National Laboratory, mentoring talent and finding solutions for energy and security challenges. By Walmart and the Walmart Foundation, increasing access for Idaho's children to explore the possibilities of science and technology and sparking their interest in careers that shape our world. By the Friends of Idaho Public Television, by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and by viewers like you. Thank you.